see the murals, I think the first impression is it's almost like a bird's eye view of Texas because it's from the very beginning and it sweeps through that wonderful history. What the murals do, they tell the story of South Texas, the Kennedy Ranch, and the Kennedy family. This could be the, the impetus for more murals and more artwork and more museums being created in this particular area to record a heritage that has long been neglected. When I see it finished, I see something that is uh, left for Texas, something that we've given back to Texas, and I'm proud of that. South Texas, a sweeping, desolate landscape with few inhabitants, an often hostile climate, and a variety of cultural and ethnic influences dating back many hundreds of years. It is also a land that holds some of the largest cattle ranches in the world. Recently, a celebration brought people from all over Texas to the small town of Sarita, the county seat of Kennedy County. They came to attend the opening festivities of the Kennedy Ranch Museum of South Texas. It was an authentic Texas-style occasion reflecting the diverse heritage and true grit character of this part of the Lone Star State. The main feature of the Kennedy Ranch Museum is a series of three large murals that depict the complex and richly textured history of South Texas. Museum designer Steve Harding chose to feature murals at the Kennedy Ranch Museum because of their prominence in Latin American culture and the close ties of South Texas with Mexico. He knew that murals would be an effective and appropriate way to tell the story of the region. Large murals make a powerful statement that documents history, culture, and, more often than not, the struggle of the common man for justice and freedom. As an art form, the painting of murals goes back even further in history. The conquistadors were the first Europeans to see the ancient and mysterious pictographs found in caves and on cliffs throughout Texas. And the pre-Columbian peoples of North and South America recorded their rituals and history on the walls of their great pyramids. Well, the Mexican muralist movement in Mexico, I think, was started as a result of um, the Mexican Revolution uh, ending and um, the government deciding that they wanted to reconstruct the country and they wanted the artists to be involved. And at that time, a lot of the leading artists were in Europe studying and doing their art, like Diego Rivera. So they summoned Diego Rivera to return to Mexico and help them reconstruct the country. And at that point, they decided that they needed to sort of uh, look into their heritage and appropriate and use that heritage in their work and create this nationalism of Mexican art. They no longer wanted to do easel painting. They, fe they felt that it was important to do huge monumental art because that was accessible to the masses. Large murals, such as this one in the post office in San Antonio, began to appear in public buildings across the U.S. during the Great Depression. The Hall of State on the Texas State Fairgrounds in Dallas also features a large mural from the 1930s. In the 1960s and 70s, a Mexican-American artistic renaissance occurred in the Southwest as Hispanic artists portray their cultural heritage on colorful murals throughout the area. Many of these were painted on the exteriors of buildings, such as this one in Houston's East End. After years of exposure to the elements, many of these important murals have deteriorated or completely disappeared. Painting the larger-than-life history of South Texas on three 30-foot walls at the Kennedy Ranch Museum was a painstaking endeavor that would take years to realize. This wasn't an environment that invited high technology. It was, it was an environment that, it's a 1927 uh, building. It, uh, it required something more traditional uh, to tell the story. But the space is very, very limited. So how do you tell such a big story in, in a very, very limited space? What kind of tools do you, do you find to use? And so I just thought about it for a very long time. And uh, finally, it just came on me, sort of 
uh, there was an epiphany that said it has to be it has to be murals. We have to use a tool that was from the culture, which uh, this is a, a, a primarily Hispanic uh, area, uh, the, and, and mural painting is a, is something that's very traditional in in uh, the Hispanic culture. Steve Harding searched for an artist with whom he could work closely and rely upon to implement his vision for the project. He chose Houston-based artist Daniel Lechon. Lechon, a native of Mexico, had earned a Master of Fine Arts degree at the Academia de las Nobles Artes de San Carlos, or the Royal Academy of San Carlos, founded in Mexico City in 1783. When I arrived at the University of Mexico, I uh, was sent to School of Fine Arts. And the first two years is called preparatory. And they give you architecture, they give you painting, new drawing, uh, history of art, techniques. After the second year, before you go into the third, you had to choose if you're going to be an architect or a flat art artist, or you want to be a sculptor or engraver, or you choose. I chose because of the colors that I like so much, the, the career as a fine arts master. <laughs> 